Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be talking about the LED light kit for your cargo carriers. Now these are specifically designed to work with certain uh, cargo carriers that you can find here at eTrailer.com. That's the list of them right there. So if you have one of those, these should work out great. You can use them on other cargo carriers and I'll give you a part number for brackets to make that happen. But basically what these are gonna, are gonna do is allow you to have your brake light signal, turn signal and running light signal, go through these lights so that people can see what's going on even if there's a bunch of stuff stacked up behind uh, or in your cargo carrier that's blocking your taillights. So helps to keep you safe, helps to let other drivers know what's going on, and should also keep you DOT compliant so you don't get a ticket. Always important. So the main thing that I find uh, a lot of customers have complained about is that they these don't fit very well into those cargo carriers. So I'm going to give you a tip on how to make sure that these do fit in. It's kind of uh, something that if you're not really looking very closely at it, you can easily miss. So I definitely want to go over that with you to make sure that these fit really well and we'll also talk a little bit about how the install works and some things that you might want to pick up while you're looking at these guys. So let's jump in and discuss. The main thing is that you want to make sure that you put in the grommet first. That's going to be the first step to making sure that these lights fit in there properly. And the really the important thing to pay attention to is this lip on the back side of that grommet. So I've got some pictures here to show you what that looks like and make sure that you get that. So where those arrows are, that's gonna be that lip. You wanna make sure that that goes all the way through or you push the grommet all the way through so that lip comes out on the back side and it seats around that oval opening. Because if it doesn't do that, it's just going to kind of fall out and it won't really fit in there properly. So once that lip, fits around the inside edge of that oval, it should sit in there all on its own. And then whenever you go to put in the light, it should push in there as well and hold really tightly. So that's gonna be the big thing. Just to show you again, what that little grommet looks like or what that lip looks like on the back side of the grommet here, it's this lip. So you want to push it through until this seats all around the edge and it's pushing all the way through. When you're first pushing it, it might kind of stop on this little ridge so it can feel like it's all the way in. You just want to make sure that this gets all the way through to the inside edge. That was something whenever I was putting this on uh, the cargo carrier that I discovered because at first when you set it in there, it does just kind of flop right out and you're like, well, hey, this doesn't even work. But you got to make sure that you push it all the way in. And then the same thing with the light. Make sure that that also pushes all the way to the back of the grommet. It will again kind of stop halfway through and just keep pushing until it gets completely seated or it's sitting flush with that grommet. That's going to make the big difference on whether or not this is going to sit in that opening. If you don't do that, again, it's just going to kind of flop out and it doesn't really seem like it fits. But trust me, if you, if you follow that, it should work out just fine. You shouldn't need any kind of glue or zip ties or any silicone sealant. I see. I saw some folks tried that out. If you want to go the extra mile and add it just for uh, kind of peace of mind, of course you can. Nobody's going to stop you, but you really shouldn't. It shouldn't be necessary at all. It really holds very tightly once you get that lip all the way seated around there. Now, as far as the wiring, it's kind of, uh, it, it works just fine, but it's not the prettiest thing. So that's another issue that a lot of customers are not so happy with. It gives you about 88 inches overall. So that's just over um, about six and a half feet or almost seven feet of wire total. So it should be just enough to get this from your four pole in the back of your vehicle out to the cargo carrier. But again, it's not super nice or it's not really that attractive. If you don't care, it doesn't really matter. It's going to work. You just plug these ends into the back of the lights, run it to your four pole, and that's all you have to worry about. But if you would like for a little cleaner install, uh, you might want to kind of route it around depending on the setup for your actual cargo carrier. You might be able to kind of run it through tubes. You might have to cut and splice if you want to do that. There might be uh, some areas where you can get these little guys through there and fish them out to kind of hide those wires. Or you can also grab some wire loom, oops, no, wrong one. You can also grab some wire loom to cover up those wires and also protect them. 
that's going to be the same stuff that's on this little segment of the wiring. I would suggest getting that. I have that part number listed up there. That's going to be the 3 8 inch diameter wire loom, and that's a 10 foot length. We do have um, quarter inch or half inch at different lengths as well. So got some options, but those are just the part numbers I would suggest. And then those brackets that were listed there are going to give you a mount to put these on a cargo carrier that's not listed as a fit, but it would be one that has the rail. So like the e-trailer car cargo carrier will work with that and some others. So just some things to think about whenever you're getting these guys to help make sure that the install goes how you want it so you don't have to do mess with anything else. Also, the extension for the wiring that I put up there as well, that's going to be the four foot, or excuse me, five foot extension. There's a one foot extension already listed on the product page here at eTrailer.com. Because again, if you're going to be routing it in kind of a, a more sneaky way, instead of just going straight out to the lights, you'll probably need a little extra length. And the sneakier you go, the more length you'll need. So you might need that longer wiring. You might just need the foot. Kind of depends on how you want to go. So. I hope this has been helpful for figuring out how these will work for you. It, again, that trick of putting that grommet in first, getting it all the way seated, and then putting in the light is gonna make a big difference for how these fit in the cargo carrier. But if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to us here at eTrailer.com. We wanna make sure that you get the right thing the first time so you don't have to be frustrated when you're trying to get stuff installed. I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.